Hello guys, in today's video, we are going to do a quick review on parallel and series circuits. We are going to discuss the main differences between the two circuits. So now, we have two different circuits facing us, circuit A and B. Now circuit A is a series network and then circuit B is a parallel network. So why do we say circuit A is a series network and B is a parallel network? Circuit A is a series network because the current supplied by the voltage source is same through each of the resistors, irrespective of the magnitude of their resistance. For resistors to be in series with each other, there should be no node or junction between them. And since there is no node or junction between the resistors, the same current is free to move from the positive terminal of the voltage source through the resistors and then back to the negative terminal. Thus, I is equal to I1 is equal to I2 is equal to I3. In that case, I, which is the total current, is the same as I1, and then I2 and I3, which are the currents flowing through R1, R2, and R3, respectively. On the other hand, circuit B is a parallel network because there are nodes between the resistors, and at each node, the current is going to divide. In that case, the current flowing through R1, R2 and then R3 are not the same and depends on the magnitudes of their resistance. Notice that in a parallel network, the total current supplied to the network is equal to the sum of the currents in the various branches so that I, which is the total current, is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. And then I1, I2, and I3 are the currents flowing through R1, R2, and R3 respectively. Now let's talk about the voltages across each circuit. For circuit A, which is a series network, as current flows through the resistors, some of the source voltage is being dropped, which means that as current flows through R1, there is a voltage drop V1 across R1 and the same happens to R2 and then R3. So in the end, we say that for a series network, the source voltage is equal to the sum of the voltages dropped across each resistor so that V, which is the source voltage, is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 where V1, V2 and V3 are the voltages dropped across R1, R2, and R3, respectively. For parallel networks, the connection is such that the same source voltage is applied across each of the resistors, thus R1, R2, and R3. So if V is the source voltage, then V should be the same as V1, which is the voltage applied across R1, and then it should be the same as V2 and then V3. So for parallel networks, the source voltage is equal to V1 is equal to V2 and then is equal to V3 where V1, V2 and V3 are the voltages applied across R1, R2 and R3 respectively. So now let's talk about the last item on the list which is their total resistance. So how do we find the total resistance for both circuits? For series network the total resistance is equal to the sum of the individual resistors in the circuits. So for this case, we have three resistors. So RT, which is the total resistance, is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now in a case where we have two resistors connected in the circuit, then the total resistance is going to be R1 plus R2. Now, for a parallel network, the reciprocal of the total resistance is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the branch resistors so that 1 over RT, which is the total resistance, is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So in the case where we have two resistors, then 1 over RT will be equal to 1 over R1 
plus 1 over R2. So that's it for today's video. If you like the content of this video, feel free to like, comment and share among friends. Don't forget to subscribe to receive more interesting videos. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.